Hello my friends, I hope you're doing super wonderful and I welcome you to the second episode of making the best PowerPoint presentations even better series, where we'll do our best to improve the best PowerPoint slide designs in the world. And in this one you will learn how to animate videos, how to animate slide titles and how to use PowerPoint draw feature to create a handwritten text effect. So let's go! Alright, so once again I am on GraphicRiver.net, one of the biggest places uh, for PowerPoint templates on the internet. And once again let's make sure that we're looking at the best-selling PowerPoint templates. And let's make sure that we're looking at those templates added in the last year because we want to see some fresh ones. And here in the first place is the Essentials 2022 that we have looked at the last time. And on the second place we have Business PowerPoint Presentation Template by Generous Art. And as you can see, I have already bought this template. And by the way, if you'd like to grab this template as well, link is in the video description. And as you can see, this template is pretty nice, modern and minimal business PowerPoint template. That's super awesome. And now the question is, can we take at least one slide and make it better? Well, let's find it out. And while I was going through the slides, I saw these anniversary slides, which I think look pretty cool. And it would be fun to take at least one of those slides and try to make them even better. Right, so this is how this presentation looks like and as you can see we definitely have a bunch of slides, we have 451 slides, that's a lot. Now let's just scroll down and let's try to find those anniversary slides, okay? Alright, and here they are, those beautiful anniversary slides and as you can see we have a really nice slide design. We have this kind of diagonal slice, we have this handwritten text, we have a slide title and we have an image placeholder and we have, you know, many years to choose from. We have 60, 65, 70. And I think we could have some fun with this 70 years anniversary slide, okay? Let me just insert a photo into this picture placeholder so that we can have a better view of this slide. Let's just make sure that we send this photo to back. Okay, and this is how this slide looks like. And by the way, this slide is already animated, so let's check out those animations. And as you can see, we're getting some basic zoom animations. And I think uh, we could definitely improve on that, okay? And here on the left side we have an image placeholder and I think it would be fun to insert a video instead of a picture, so I'll show you how we can do that. And next as you can see we have this beautiful slide title, but the problem is, is that we cannot insert our own text because it is just a shape. So we can definitely improve on that by inserting our own text box with a font that looks similar. Now the scribble text years, it is a shape as well and I think we could take a different approach and use the draw feature provided by PowerPoint and draw our own text. And later on we can apply a replay animation to that text, so that's super awesome. And the rest of these text boxes, I think they are okay. And once we make all of the changes, this is how this slide will look like. We have a video playing on the left side and we have some handwritten text animation playing on the right side. And we have a beautiful slide title, which is actually editable. So as you can see here on the left side we have a video, that's nice. And the slide title, it's actually editable, so this is a text box that you can use to insert any year that you wish. Okay, so let's keep it 70. And now the scribble text years, it was drawn using the PowerPoint draw feature and what's nice about it is that we can apply this ink replay animation. That's super duper awesome. And for the rest of these text boxes, I have applied a lighter uh, gray color just to keep it subtle, okay? Alright my friends, so now let me show you how we can turn uh, this slide, which looks uh, pretty nice, into this slide, which might be even better. So let's go. Okay, so let's just duplicate the original slide and let's start making some changes. And the first thing that we could do is add a video on the left side and before we do that, let me just delete this photo and let's actually delete the image placeholder itself because we won't be using it, okay? And now let's just insert a video and to save some time let's use one of those stock videos provided by PowerPoint, okay? And let's search for something related to heart, okay? And I think this pink one would fit really well to our slide design, okay? Let's click insert. And here it is, the video has been inserted, let's just make sure that it covers the whole slide so we can just hold down the control shift keys and expand this video so that it covers the whole slide. And now let's just send it to back so that we can see the rest of the elements on the slide. Now let me just drag this video a little bit to the left side so that we can see the heart better, okay? 
And as well, let me go to the crop options and let's crop the left side of the video so that it doesn't stick out, you know, out of the slide window, just like that. We can crop the right side a little bit as well. And once we're happy, let's click on that crop button to finalize the changes. Looking good. And by the way, as you can see now, the video has this kind of interesting look with these little drops at the top and at the bottom. And I think we could simplify the look of the video. And to do that, let's just delete this custom shape. And next, let's just insert a circle and use the intersect function to crop the video. So first, let's just grab the circle tool, draw a nice big circle that covers the whole video. As you can see, my circle has some transparency. You can always go to the fill options and add some transparency if you wish. This is just so that we can better see, you know, how the video looks like below the circle. So once you're happy with the shape of the circle, so first select the video, hold down the shift key, select circle. And now let's go to merge shape functions. Just make sure that you add these merge shape functions to your quick access toolbar, because otherwise you won't be able to select that. And let's choose intersect and voila, we have cropped our video. And now we have this kind of more simplistic rounded look, which I think looks pretty nice. And by the way, let me clear all of the animations so we can do that in the animation pane because we'll be adding all of those animations together from scratch, okay? And now one more thing, as you can see the slide background is looking grey and it would be nice to have a white slide background. And if you would try just to go to slide background options and go to fill, solid fill, and if you would try to apply white color, as you can see nothing changes, uh, the slide background is still grey. And usually if you can't change something, you have to go into the slide master and let's just go to the top where we have this master layout. And as you can see here, we have this gray rectangle, which is placed on top of the slide. And you have a couple of options. You can just delete it. You can fill it with white fill or you can just hide it in the selection pane. Okay, and now we'll have a beautiful white uh, slide background. And now let's just ungroup uh, this slide title because it is made out of a couple of shapes. And as you can see, these are shapes. These are not editable text boxes. Okay, so let's just delete these numbers and let's insert our own text box. Okay, so let's just go to insert text box and let's just type in 70. Okay, let's make this text box super huge. Let's use for example 400 points for the font size. And now to achieve a similar look, we'll have to use a special font called K22 Plural. Link is in the video description if you'd like to check it out. It's free to use. Okay. And next I think we can bring those numbers a little bit closer to each other so we can go to spacing options. Let's just go to more spacing options. Let's make sure that we're using condensed option and let's just insert 20 points and hit OK. Now as you can see these two numbers are a bit closer and that's looking good. And next we can fill these numbers with a solid fill or a gradient fill. So let's just use gradient fill just for fun. This template has a nice color palette. So we can use one darker shade of blue and one lighter shade of blue. And you can as well use any gradient direction that you wish to achieve a look that you want. Okay, I think this is looking good. Alright my friends, and next let's animate our beautiful slide title and let's create a reveal animation. So first we will just hide this number under a special custom shape. I'll show you how we can do that and after that, that number will just go out and get revealed. So this is how this animation will look like. As you can see, number 70 just comes out and gets revealed. That's super nice effect and I'll show you how we can make that. Let's just check out the animation once again. And as you can see, we'll have to create this kind of diagonal white shape that will cover our number. Okay, so let's uh, move this text box to the left side a little bit so that we have more space. And now let's create that custom shape. And to create it, let's go to insert shapes and let's use this shape. It looks like a skewed rectangle and its name is parallelogram. That's a hard name to pronounce, but let's use it to create our custom shape. Okay, so let's just insert it once again. As you can see, I have already added some transparency so that we can see what's going on. And now let's just try and match the angle of this dashed blue line with the angle of this uh, skewed rectangle. Okay. You can use that little uh, yellow bubble to adjust the angle of your shape. Okay, let's make sure that we cover this uh, whole top right corner of the slide, just like that. Looking good, and now let's just insert a simple rectangle. Let's go to insert shapes, let's choose the rectangle tool, and let's draw a rectangle. Let's make sure that we finish at the top right corner of the slide, that's good. Now let's make sure that we select both of these guys. Okay, let's go to merge shapes and let's choose intersect. And skadoosh, we get our beautiful custom shape that we need to cover the numbers. Let's just make sure that we fill this shape with white color and let's remove the transparency. 
and let's just bring all of those guys in the background to the front so that we can see them. That's nice. And now let me quickly jump to the selection pane and let's give a proper name to our custom shape. Let's just call it cover, okay, because it covers our number. And now if we would grab this text box with a number and if we would move it to the right side, as you can see, it's getting covered by our cover. That's super awesome and this is what we want. And now let me just delete those little blue lines. We don't need them. Let's keep it simple. Let's position this light title somewhere right here. And next let me show you how we can create this uh, little uh, blue shadow to add some depth to our slide design. And to create that little shadow we can just first insert a circle. Okay, we can use 10 centimeters for the height and width. So let's make sure there is uh, no transparency. You can fill it with any color that you wish. And now let's go to soft edges effect and let's apply the maximum effect of 100 points. Okay. And now let's just send this little uh, shadow to back. Let's make sure we select the text box and the shadow. Let's send these two guys to back. Just like that. And now let's select the shadow and let's reposition it until we get the look that we want. And now as you can see we have that little subtle shadow popping below the cover. That's awesome. And now let's take care of this scribble text. Let's delete it and let's insert a new one using the draw feature provided by PowerPoint. Feel free to choose the thickness of your pen. Choose a color that you would like to draw with. I'm going with this blue color and now let's just do our best and let's try scribbling this text years and as you can see drawing with a mouse is not the easiest task in the world and if you have a graphics tablet that might be a lot easier okay and if you're not happy with the result you can always undo hit ctrl z and try again and i have already tried scribbling this text multiple times and this is how my text turned out it is not the best in the world but i think it looks decent so let's just save some time let's copy it and let's paste it into our slide all right. And what's awesome about this text created with the draw feature is that we can create uh, this kind of ink replay animation. And we will definitely use that, okay? And if you wish, you can rotate your scribble text a little bit to the side, just like that. All right. And I think the slide design is pretty much ready. Let's just make sure that there are no animations in the animation pane. Okay, let's just delete the scribble animation for now. We'll create everything from scratch and now for the rest of these text boxes let's just select them all and let's just apply a subtle gray color to make this slide design a little bit more subtle just like that okay looking good all right my friends so this slide design is ready and let's start adding animations and let's start with this video on the left side let's make sure that we select it let's go to animations and let's just go with flying animation i'm choosing direction from left and i'm going with duration of two seconds okay and in the animation options, let's choose a smooth end of 2 seconds just to make this animation smooth at the end. Alright, and now let's add one more animation to this video, let's make it play. And let's just make sure that we are clicking on this add animation button to add multiple animations because otherwise I would just replace the previous animation. And now let's make sure that the play animation starts with previous, that's good. So now the video should come in and it should start playing at the same time. And in the playback options we can check this checkbox, loop until stopped and this video will be playing until we go to the next slide. That's awesome. Alright, so all of the animations have been added to this video on the left side and now let's continue working with this slide title. So once again let's make sure that we select the slide title and let's choose the flying animation once again. Of course you can choose any other animation that you wish. I'm going with fly in from the right side. Let's make sure it starts with previous duration 2 seconds. And this time I'm adding a little bit of delay, 1 second delay to make uh, animations a little bit more interesting so that not everything is happening at the same time. So this is how the animations are looking so far. And by the way, let's add some smooth end to this 70 text box as well. Let's move the slider to the maximum just like that. Let's give it a preview once again, looking good. All right. And now let's make sure that we select that a little blue shadow, that fuzzy ball. And let's add a fade animation. Let's make sure it starts with previous duration 2 seconds, delay 1 second. Okay, and now for the rest of these text boxes and for these quotation marks, let's just group all of these guys into one group. And let's add a simple fade animation to all of them as well. Let's make sure they start with previous uh, duration 2 seconds, uh, delay 1 second. Alright, and this is pretty much the final result. Oh, and by the way, of course, let's not forget and let's animate our beautiful scribble text. Let's make sure we select it. Let's jump to animations and let's choose replay animation. Let's make sure that this animation starts with previous duration 2 seconds, delay 1 second and this is pretty much the final result. The video is animated, the slide title is animated, the scribble text is animated and the rest of the text boxes are fading in nicely. 
Congratulations my friends, and I hope we have managed to make this slide at least a little bit better. So here is the original version, and once again the link is in the video description if you'd like to check it out. And this is the version that we have created today. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and please subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.